today we are going to talk about our composing website that we're going to use, which is called flat.io. So make sure you type it into this search bar. When you get there, you are going to create a personal account for you. You do not need to put a school code or anything to get in there. Just create a personal account for you to um, start your creations. So once you have your account, you might have a tab right here that says new score or tab, like a plus sign. Mine is over here because I've already started creating music. So let's get started. You are gonna be creating your own song. It doesn't matter which instruments you put in there. It could be for one solo instrument. It could be for multiple instruments. The goal is for you to practice being the composer and to create something. So I'm gonna put this as my lullaby because I don't know what other title. Whoops, and I spelled that wrong. Lullaby. Because I don't know what other title to put. So once you're there, hit continue. Now, you're going to select the instruments here that you want to be in your song. So I'm going to click strings and I really want a violin. Now, if it says premium, you would need to have the paid version for flat. So don't click any of those. You can't use them unless you want to buy the paid version. Then by all means, go for it. You might want to be a composer later on in life. So I really want violin cello and then oh I want vocals I want some choir Oz okay and I also want a flute in mine again you don't have to write for this many instruments and I'm gonna hit create your minimum is one instrument if you want to do more you can now this is your creation studio that you have access to everything in here now, it shows me my different instruments right here, choir, violin, cello, choir, oz, and flute. If I want to change an instrument that was like, oh, I picked the wrong thing, click your instrument, and you can replace your instrument right there, okay? Or remove it, and then hit done. Now, depending how fast you want your song to be, you can change it right here. I'm going to change it to 100. And I want my song to be in 3-4. You can ch pick your own time meter. That's what we call this, the time signature. And uh, yeah, you, now is your time to get started on creating stuff. First thing is all of our notes are right here. There's also a whole bunch of other buttons, like if you wanted a dotted half note, triplets, if you want some accidentals to make your music a little interesting, and uh, articulations like say you want a staccato or these other ones a fermata maybe some slurs you want to note so I'm gonna give you some different examples so I'm gonna write this I'm gonna change my key signature sorry not my clef I want to change my key to gotta figure out where I do it on here because I'm in C let me check real quick measure key signature okay so I want mine to be in the key of D so I'm gonna click measure and I'm going to click key signature and I'm going to put it with two sharps because I want my song to be in the key of D. Then I'm going to go back to note. You can see there's other things here like you could change your tempo here, add, you know, our DSL signal for second ending repeat signs, etc. There's a whole bunch. Retardando. Okay. So anyways, so I'm going to start this with a D here. <laughs> You're going to hear it. Oh, I wanted eighth notes, so I clicked that. And then... Um... Now, this note, I wanted to be a different note. This blue cursor here is where my mouse is. So if I want this note to be different, I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard to go back, and then I can point up. All right, up or down. Now I'm going to go all the way to the beginning so I can hear my creation. I press play up here. That is my song right now. Beautiful, right? Okay, now to add my next layer. Oops. If I do that, there is an undo button right here. 
or you can always hit control Z. So I'm going to click down here because I want to start writing for cello. So I'm going to do a half note with a dot. Okay. And I'm going to put that. Hope it's working. Whoops. That's very low. I don't want that. There we go. Okay, so let's hear this from the beginning. Okay, and maybe I want to slur these two. So you guys remember right here I shared... Oops, I forgot where it was. Right here, slurs. So I'm like, oh, I really want to slur. Whoops. I want to slur right here. So I'm going to make sure that little arrow pointy thingy teardrop is there. And I'm going to click slur. And it's going to slur those two notes. I could slur more by dragging it, but I'm not going to do that. So there's a, like a little circle there. But I want it here. Okay, so... I'm going to add some choir Oz <laughs> and let's see. So I'm going to click down here now. So my little teardrop goes there and I'm going to click some choir Oz. And yeah, let's see. Ooh, they loud. Okay. And then I'm going to make them a dotted half note here. Okay, I'll show you how I'm going to make them a lot quieter, so. Okay, so now I'm going to add my flute just to put some notes here. I'm going to start it also on my D. Um. Just making up stuff. Um, quarter note. Okay, so let's hear how this sounds. My whole creation. Isn't that beautiful? How cool. Now, I want my choir Oz quieter. So I need to add some dynamics. I want them to be like pianissimo. Okay, they're going to be very quiet. And I want my cello to be about mezzo piano. Okay, so let's hear how this sounds now. And I'm going to make my violin mezzo forte as well as my flute to mezzo forte. Okay, so I want them all a little bit quieter. So let's go ahead and bring that and stop and hit play. Now, I'm enjoying it. What's great is this is automatically saved to your account through the cloud. So yay, no needing that. Now, if you want to delete a measure, like say this measure here, you can click measure and there's a minus sign. It's going to remove that whole measure from all your groups. So it's gone. Okay. Also, same thing. If you want to add a measure, you just click plus and it'll come back. Okay. And this is our undo. Now, um, you can change your notes always by moving with the arrow on your keyboard. Or you could just like, actually, you don't want to do that because you don't want layers. Now, when you're writing your song, you want to make sure that you are picking notes that are readable. So don't pick a note that's like up here, you know. Like, actually, that's readable. I'm looking at this note. No, that's not what I want. Okay. That is not a readable note, okay? So you do not want that note right there. And you just hit backspace or delete on your keyboard, and we want to keep that. Now, when you share it to me, this is your first draft. You're going to be working on this song through the year. So you're going to click share, and you're going to click copy private link. Once you have that, you're going to share that to me. Um, 
so that I can make um, some suggestions on your song. So all you have is that link. And if I just like posted it here somewhere, that's the link and it's gonna open up to your song. So I'm gonna be able to see stuff and I can add comments down below. <laughs> Okay, and you, this is only three measures. You're gonna write up to 16 at max, okay? I highly suggest that you write in phrases of four measures or eight measures so that you can resolve it. And um, what I mean by resolve is, I'm in the key of D major, two sharps equals D major, so my first note is D and my last note is D. That's very important when you're writing music. You need to resolve the song or else it creates tension. Unless your goal is to create tension like you were trying to write music for action stuff. So that's all you have to do, everybody. If you have any questions, obviously reach out to me.